In this video, we're going to talk about how to do some basic operations on the command line with said and using regular expressions. This is sort of at the request of a lot of people recently just because, you know, I do all these scripts using all these, I, I guess, Unix command line stuff that I guess people have sometimes, you know, a, a piecemeal understanding of. But it's very useful to at least get into real life implementations, things that I've used. Uh, to understand how to use things like sed and grep and awk and stuff like that. But in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the main uses that you can use sed for. Replacing stuff, deleting stuff, printing stuff, and using, a, again, a real-life implementation that I've had. And also how to, I, I guess, get a lot of magic out of it. But anyway, so we'll go ahead and get into that. And as, as I said, this will involve some regular expressions. If you don't know anything about regular expressions, you'll be fine, though. You'll figure it out. You might even learn something. So anyway, uh, at a basic level, uh, I'm going to open up a file. And this, uh, the, the file origin is not particularly important. But if you watch my channel, you might know that I auto-generate shortcuts from fi a file that looks like this, where I have a directory or some, or here it's a different kind of file on the right and then some shortcut to it on the left. And I have a little script that reads a file that looks like this and generates aliases for bash or something like that, or, or ranger and other stuff. But uh, when people started using my dot files, uh, they started saying, hey, it'd be really nice if I could, you know, say like, uh, you know, put in a comment or something like this. So I'm putting in a comment or have some, you know, blank lines, you know, blank lines and comments. Because originally when I made the script that parsed this file, they, it, only, it really just assumed that it was already in the correct format and there were no comments for it to ignore or not, you know, pay attention to or something like that. So I want in this video to use said, what, what I want to do is, as I said, the script that I have is going to read a file that looks like this. But I want to give it an input that looks like this, that is with comments and blank lines. And I want to have a said, a said script, actually not a said script, one single said command, one line of said that will change a commented file with blank lines and all this stuff into an uncommented file that my script can use. Okay, And it's going to be very easy, but it involves learning some of the basics of said, uh, which again, are very easy. Now let's go ahead and get into this. So at a basic level, I am going to run sed on this file, uh, bm files. Now you'll notice here, I just gave sed in the quotation marks. Those are the commands that you're running with sed. In this case, I have nothing. And I ran it on bm files. So this is actually just going to print out the file. It's going to show you what it looks like. That's all. That's all. Now you can put in the quotation marks one of said's many commands and one of the most common ones that we can use is s s stands for substitute it's one of the most commonly used of all of the different um you know of all the different sub commands but we'll go into the syntax of it it's very simple so as an example you know let's say uh, so what substitute does as you can probably guess is you find some pattern let's say there are a bunch of c's in this document lowercase c's Let's say I want to replace lowercase c's with capital C's. The syntax of this is going to look something like this. So you have s for substitute, then a slash, then the pattern you want to replace, then another slash, then the pattern you're replacing it with, then another slash. And at the end, I'm going to put a g here. This is for other options about the command. I'm just going to run this and I'll tell you what g does in a second. So if I run this, you'll see that all of our lowercase c's have now been replaced with uppercase c's. So that's what we want in our hypothetical said replace command. And this is the basic syntax for it. It's pretty simple. Of course, you don't just have to replace single characters. You can replace lots of stuff. You can replace lowercase c with LMAO, or you can replace CF with LMAO or anything like that. Um, now, let's, uh, let me, now what is the G for? Now I should be clear, let's say, let's say I'm just replacing C here. Now, at a basic, if we run it with G as an option, you'll notice that, for example, on this line, it replaced C, F, B, bash, R, C with LMA, two instances of LMAO. If I run it without G, you'll see that what that does is, by default, that is, if you don't have G, set is only going to run the substitute command once per line. So our first C on this line was replaced, but not our second one. 
If you want all of the instances to be replaced, you got to run it with G. So I, I pretty much always run my said replace commands with G. I mean, it's probably minutely fat. I mean, if you know that you're only going to be making one modification per line, of course, don't use uh, G. Uh, in fact, it might be faster not to. But I find that most of my said commands end up using G, but or replace uh, substitute commands. So that's that's how we can replace a sequence. So what does this have to do with getting rid of comments? Well, it's very easy. What we can do is we can replace the pattern of a comment with nothing. You can very easily, you know, just have nothing as your replacement pattern. And you'll see all the C's have now been deleted from the file. So what we want to do is instead of replacing C, we're going to replace what a comment looks like. So comments pretty much always look like this. They're going to start with a pound sign. And then we're going to use a little regular expression magic. And that is we're going to type in period and then Kalini star. So if you don't know what this means, it's very simple. Period just stands for any character. And the star stands for whatever the last thing you just typed, just say any number of those. Okay, so what this is going to do is actually going to replace a pound sign and then basically every character that comes after it in the line. That's what it's going to do. So if we run that, you'll now see that our comments have disappeared. We have no comments anymore. This one is totally gone. It's been replaced with nothing. Um, all the ones down here are, are totally gone. You can see that all the comments have now disappeared from our file. Now, I should be clear, uh, said is a stream editor by default. We are not modifying the file. We are just taking the file as an input and then printing out some output. If hypothetically we want to you know, change the original file, we could run said with the I option, but we're not going to do this in this video that because that's not, you know, it's not what we're doing, but just know that's how you do it. So don't be afraid if you're not running, you know, something, I, I, excuse me, if you're running said without I, it's pretty much safe to run whatever. Don't worry about it. But, um, okay. So, um, I do want to say there's one additional thing we want to add here. And that is there are a couple lines. If you notice, so we've gotten rid of this comment, but technically speaking, you can't see it, but there is a space right before this pound sign. Now what we can do to ensure that we get rid of all those spaces is we can do the following. I'm gonna to add to this replacement expression slash s and then another Kalini star. Now what slash s means is any white space character. And again, the star means any number of those the, of those characters. So that means it could mean zero spaces. It'll match for zero spaces. It'll also match for 100 spaces. Anyway, if we run this, it's going to look exactly the same as it was before, but technically it's a little better to do this because um, if we run it without the this, there are technically some trailing white space. Now that not, might not matter for a lot of the scripts you're making, but um, I guess it soothes my autism or, you know, it, it's more intuitive. It, it just makes more sense. I know what I'm dealing with now. Okay. So that, that's half of the way there because I wanted to get rid of the comments, but I also want to get rid of these nasty blank lines. In fact, let's, let's add some more blank lines in because why not? I'm going to make them more visible. Okay. So I'm going to, so now we have some ex extra blank lines. So what can we do to get rid of these blank lines? Now I will say in addition to this little command here, we can also uh, concatenate different said commands. So I can do, if I want to get rid of comments, but I also want to replace lowercase c with uppercase c, I can do the following. After this said command, but still in the quotation marks, I can type in semicolon and then another replace command to replace lowercase c with uppercase c, right? And I can run that and you'll see that all of the them have now been replaced, okay? Now, I don't wanna, to get rid of the blank spaces, I'm not gonna be running a replace command or a substitute command. Instead, sed has another, um, so sed has a way, the, sed's general syntax is give me a pattern and I will look for that pattern in a line and then I'll perform an action on it. So let me give you an example. Let's say how that looks like is, so our, our new command, I'm gonna have a command that looks like this and then put a D at the end. Now what this means is, I want you to find wherever C and F appear. So C and F appear, you know, in multiple, on multiple lines. Go to all the lines where C and F are there together and then perform this operation, D. You can probably guess D means delete. So if I run this, you'll see all of the lines with C, F have now been deleted, okay? Now we can do that as well 
we can use a regular expression. Uh, well, actually, before we even give the final answer, just to be clear, a set has a bunch of different commands that you can run with this. So for example, if I run CF, instead of D, if I run P, that printed out a whole bunch of stuff. What that did is whenever it find, finds CF in the file, it runs P meaning print. So you actually see it run, so it prints out the whole document, but every time it finds a CF, it actually prints that line out twice because we're telling it to, to print that out. Or we could say CF and Q, and that means when you find C, the first CF you find, quit the file, etc. Or we were talking about the other day, right? So uh, said 11 Q just means when you get to the 11th line, if it's not in slashes, or if it's just a number not in slashes, that's assumed to be the line number. But said 11 Q just means when you find the 11th line, quit. Okay, so anyway. Um, so what we want to do, again, we know how to delete patterns. The pattern we really want to delete is the blank line. Now, of course, there is no symbol for blankness, but there is a, we can do the following. We can do carrot thingy, hatchet, whatever, whatever you call it, plus dollar sign. Now, if you don't know anything about regular expressions, I will tell you what this means. The uh, hatchet, Karen, whatever it is, that stands for the beginning of a line. So that is gonna match every beginning of the line, and the dollar sign is gonna match all the ends of lines. So when we put these two things together, that basically means every blank line, because a blank line is just the beginning of a line followed by an end of a line. And we're saying, whenever you find that on a line, delete it, we don't want it. So if I run this, bam, that is what we want. Look how beautiful that looks. So now we, with one, again, with one little sed command, which is technically two subcommands, but it's one sed command, we can uh, take an input file that might have a whole bunch of comments. People can comment however they want on this file. Uh, we will take that and it will automatically turn into this much more parsable document. So this is actually what I do now. Again, as I mentioned, this is a real life implementation. Just a little sed command I, I added to get rid of comments. Okay, very simple. Now, just to give you some ideas for other things you can do in said, I mean, this is all the technical portion of the video is now over, but just to give you another idea of the kind of things you can do with said, one thing I have is, um, I'm gonna turn on my transmission daemon. One thing I have up here is I have this little module that I guess I've talked about in other videos, a little torrent module, and it shows little emojis based on how many of my torrents are done or downloading or waiting for seeders or seeding or something like that. Now, that might sound like, you know, you have to download 5,000 megs of Python modules or something if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, but really, to get something like that, you just need a kind of a sed command. So I'm gonna actually go to the script that runs this. So I'm gonna open up my, uh, this, this particular file and I will show you. Now, what this module is in effect is the input to it is the transmission remote list command, which what that does is it just prints out all the torrents you have and it gives a bunch of information about them like how finished downloading they are and stuff. And really, to get this little module up here, all I do is I pipe it in the sed and I have a bunch of replace commands. So for example, really, in effect, what it's going to do is whenever you know it finds that a torrent is seeding because it says seeding, it's going to replace that with the little sapling up here, right? So this thing means seeding. Now, notice that I actually have two sed commands. That's just because first I replace them with letters so I can run a sort on them to get them in the order I want. Then I'll replace those letters with the actual emojis. But in essence, it's, it's pretty simply just me replacing, it's me just taking text input and replacing all of that with some kind of more, uh, 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 something more visually, I guess, uh, intuitive for a status bar icon or something like that. So that, that's all, the, all this thing up here. It's just a little shell script line. Well, this, I guess it could technically be a line. Uh, just a little li a line of shell script that is really just said replace com commands. I'm just replacing sequences with other sequences. So anyway, uh, that's about it for this video. I hope that you've learned a little bit about said if you didn't know anything about it, or even if you did know something about it, I hope you learned something. Um, if you want more videos like this, just feel free to say so because you know a lot of people have asked me to do, I guess, more general scripting videos, and uh, hopefully this has been a good example. So anyway, that's, um, that's about it. See you guys next time. <laughs>